Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these bunch of green squares of various sizes put together, as you can see in this diagram, such that their base length is 20 units, and this height difference is 5 units. And on the other side, this height difference is 2 units. And finally, the difference between uh, these uh, two squares uh, is uh, one unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all these uh, squares uh, together. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with the four uh, squares. With various sizes let me label uh, this first uh, square and I'm going to label as uh, box uh, number one and this uh, second one as uh, box uh, number two and this third one uh, as uh, box uh, number three and this uh, fourth one as uh, box uh, number four and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, total uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, box number one. We are talking about this box plus uh, the area of box uh, number two, this box plus the area of the box uh, number three and finally plus the box uh, for uh, this one. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this box one, box uh, two, box uh, three area and finally box uh, for area and then we are going to add them up and now let's focus on the biggest uh, box uh, that box number two let's assume the height uh, of this uh, box is uh, a units then uh, this uh, height this side is going to be a units uh, as well and we know that this uh, height uh, difference uh, is uh, five units so therefore uh, this uh, height uh, of this uh, tiny square is going to be a minus uh, 5 and now let's focus uh, on this uh, other side we know that this uh, this height difference uh, is uh, 2 units so therefore uh, the height uh, of this uh, square is going to be a minus uh, 2 and finally let's focus uh, on this uh, the right hand side uh, square we know the difference uh, between this and this uh, is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, height of this uh, square is going to be a minus uh, 3. And since we are dealing with all these uh, squares, so that means all their side lengths uh, are uh, equal. So therefore, for this uh, square 1, the this uh, base uh, length uh, is going to be same as uh, this height so this is going to be a minus uh, 5 and for this uh, box uh, 2 we know its height uh, is uh, a so therefore its uh, base is going to be a as well and now let's focus on this uh, box uh, 3 we know its uh, height is uh, a minus uh, 2 so therefore its uh, base is going to be a minus uh, 2 as well and finally let's focus on this uh, box uh, 4 we know its uh, height is uh, a minus 3 so therefore uh, its this base uh, is going to be a minus uh, 3 as well and now let's go ahead and combine uh, all uh, these uh, individual lengths we are going to add these uh, individual uh, lengths so let's go ahead and add them up we got uh, a minus 5 plus this uh, a plus uh, a minus uh, 2 and then finally this one uh, plus uh, a minus uh, 3 and now we can uh, see that this uh, whole uh, base uh, length uh, has been given to us as uh, 20 so therefore I can equate uh, this left hand side uh, equals to 20 and now we are going to combine the like uh, terms and now we are going to solve for a so therefore i am going to add 
10 on both uh, sides and we can see that this negative 10 and positive 10 is gone so therefore 4 times a turns out to be 30 let me divide uh, both sides by 4 uh, to isolate uh, a and here we can see our a value turns out to be 15 divided by 2 or in terms of decimals our a value is going to be 7.5 units so thus our a value turns out to be 7.5 that means this base length is going to be 7.5 and for this uh, box 1 we know a value is 7.5 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 2.5 and now let's focus on this uh, box 3 our a value is uh, 7.5 minus 2 is going to give us 5.5 uh, and finally for this uh, box 4 our a value is 7.5 5 minus 3 is going to give us 4.5 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, box 1 and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represent the side length uh, of the square and in our case for box 1 the side length is 2.5 so therefore the area for this box 1 is going to be 2.5 whole uh, square and if we take the square of this thing that's going to be 6.25 and here's our next step we are now going to calculate the area of this box 2 whose uh, side length is uh, 7.5 so therefore the area of this uh, box 2 is going to be 7.5 whole square and that is going to be equal to 56.25 and likewise uh, the area for this uh, box 3 is going to be 5.5 whole uh, square and that is going to be equal to 30.25 and finally the area for this uh, box uh, 4 is going to be 4.5 whole uh, square so therefore that is going to give us uh, 20.25 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region we already figured out uh, the area of this uh, box 1 as 6.25 for box 2 as 56.25 for box 3 30.25 and finally for this uh, box uh, 4 it is uh, 20.25 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so this is going to be 6.25 plus 56.25 plus 30.25 and plus finally 20.25 and if we add them that is going to be equal to 113 square units so thus our total green shaded area turns out to be 113 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.